ever unlocked your phone with your face and wondered, wait, how does it know it's me? Like, exactly me? No password. No fingerprint. Just your face. But what is your phone really seeing? And how hard is it to fool? Let's break down Face ID and why it's way more advanced and way weirder than you think. I used to think it was just the camera, like it takes a picture and compares it to your selfies or something. But then I tried unlocking my phone in the dark and it still worked. No light, no makeup, messy hair, it knew. So clearly it's doing something way smarter. Yep, because Face ID doesn't just see you, it maps you, like in 3D. Here's how it works. When you lift your phone, a tiny system near the front camera activates. It shoots 30,000 invisible dots onto your face using infrared light. Then it reads how those dots curve and bend around your features. That's how it builds a depth map, kind of like a facial fingerprint. Wait, invisible dots? Like, I've got a galaxy on my face and I didn't even know it? Exactly. And your phone's infrared camera picks up how those dots land. That gives it two things. One, a 2D infrared image, and two, a 3D depth map. Both are sent through a special chip called the Secure Enclave, which is like a vault inside your phone. It compares your current scan to the encrypted version stored during setup. And all of this happens in under a second. Okay, but what if someone shows it a picture of me, or like, holds up a super realistic mask? Could it get tricked? Not easily. Apple and other brands using 3D scanning test for spoofing. That's what they call fake attempts. They use masks, photos, even 3D printed heads. The goal? Make sure it only unlocks for you, not for something that just looks like you. It even checks for subtle signs of life, like eye movement and depth. So Face ID knows I'm not dead? Comforting. Weird, but comforting. Totally. And here's what's wild. It learns. Let's say you grow a beard, get new glasses, wear a hoodie. Face ID adapts. It updates your model over time, as long as it's still confident it's you. Basically, your phone's teaching itself your face, every single day. Okay, but what if I have an identical twin? Or someone who really looks like me? Can they get in? Good question. And yeah, identical twins can sometimes unlock each other's phones. The system isn't perfect, but for most people, the chance of someone random unlocking your phone with their face is about one in a million. Compare that to a four-digit passcode, that's only one in 10,000. So Face ID is still way more secure than what most people use. Wow, I didn't know my face was basically a password now. Right, and here's another layer. Your face data never leaves your phone. It doesn't get uploaded to the cloud. Everything stays encrypted on the device, which means even if someone hacked the server, they wouldn't get your face. So it's private and secure? That's kind of rare for tech? Exactly. And Face ID isn't just about unlocking your phone. It powers Apple Pay, secure apps, and password autofill. It's how your phone knows you're you without needing to ask every time. The tech is invisible, but the design is intentional. Okay. But... What if my phone doesn't recognize me one morning? I mean, sometimes I don't recognize myself. Yep, it happens. That's why there's a fallback, your passcode. Face ID is smart, but it's still software. Bright sunlight, covered camera, changes in lighting. Those can throw it off. It's not magic, it's math. So basically, Face ID is like a tiny, invisible security guard with laser eyes. Pretty much, and here's the coolest part. This tech used to be sci-fi, but now it's in your pocket. And tomorrow, it might scan your whole body or read your emotions in milliseconds. But Face ID isn't just tech. It's also trust, and that's where things get deeper. Okay, that just got creepy, but also kind of amazing. Let's zoom out. Face recognition is growing fast, not just on phones. In China, people pay for groceries with their face, Airports, stores, public spaces, even schools are testing it. And while it's powerful, it also raises questions. Who controls the data? What if it's wrong? Can it be used to track people? Understanding how it works is the first step to using it wisely. 
That's the part they never talk about. Like, we love how convenient it is, but we don't ask what it costs. Not in money, in privacy, in control. Yep. So here's a thought. Just because tech can do something doesn't mean it always should. We have to stay curious, but also critical, because this isn't just about unlocking phones. It's about how we unlock the future. So web weavers, how do you feel about Face ID now? Cool? Creepy? Somewhere in between? Drop it in the comments. And here's a question. Where do you think facial recognition should and shouldn't be used? And if this episode made you think, share it. Because asking better questions is always smarter than giving easy answers. Catch you next time, digital explorers. Bye-bye.